What is currently happening that is scaring you? Just found out that a married couple in my city kept an elderly lady as a slave for 20 years. My city is somewhat quiet so this really freaked me out. Edit. The lady is now together with her sister. Hopefully things will get better. It's really sinister since the city is a great place to live. No homicides or whatsoever in years. It seems that the situation is being handled. Laid off a few months ago. Severance ends soon and I keep getting rejected on new prospects. Trying to get into new roles since my experience is a bit niche and I've exhausted those options. Feel like a failure and don't know what I'll do if I can't find something soon. My son, who turned 18 last week, is making the most horrible life decisions. He's going to wind up in jail or dead. I'm so scared for him and of him. How easily I went from couple of drinks after work to sitting at a bar replying to a reddit thread 5 hours after work. I've been hearing and seeing things that aren't there. I've been chalking it up to stress but I'm starting to think I may be going crazy. It's pretty scary. Edit. Well damn. Thanks for all the advice. I have started seeing a mental health professional as of last Wednesday. It's been a week and I've started some meds. They're also doing tests for my thyroid. I've been seeing a neurologist for a few years now for an unrelated condition. Though now I'm thinking it could be related. And they have me in meds for that too. What I didn't know was the carbon monoxide thing. I'm heading out in a few to buy several new ones. I just moved and I've just been using the ones that were here already. And this all started a little while after moving in here so maybe that's it. I've also recently learned the term shadow people and while I don't really buy into the paranormalness of it the experiences have been spot on what is described. It's not always people but always shadows. Weird it. Google directed me to a podcast called Astonishing Legends. It has a pretty good episode I listened to about it. The aging of my parents. It's like one day I just woke up and realized they were more than halfway through their lives. I keep wanting to reset their clocks. I had a kidney transplant two weeks ago and just got a 9pm call that my lab numbers look like I might have internal bleeding. I'm scared I'm going to lose my new kidney before I've even healed. Edit. Thanks everyone for the support and gilding. Even if I don't quite understand it lol. I didn't expect this to blow up like this. Waiting for an apt for a scan to learn more. Hoping for the best. They haven't sent me via ER so I shouldn't be too worried I guess. The total disregard for the truth. Tolerance for gaslighting. It's pretty disturbing. Turning 30 soon. Time feels like it has sped up since high school. I blink and the years seem to fly by. Makes me contemplate life and what I should spend my time and focus on. Squeezing the most out of things while I still have my youth. I feel like I'm going to blink again and be turning 50. I've been out of work for about a year with back issues and I'm damn near broke. Like, really broke. As in maybe homeless at my advanced age. I have terminal cancer. I don't want to die. I've been searching for a job for several months now. With no success. We have enough in savings to survive for another 6 weeks. I am married. And we have children. And I'm afraid that I won't be able to support my family. Edit. You all are amazing people. The amount of support and just the overall good advice and the responses here blow me away. Thank you all so much. Also, as many were asking. 1. I have worked in non-profit leadership for nearly a decade. The skill set would transfer well to for-profit work. I also have database administration work experience along with a Salesforce admin certification. 2. I am happy to relocate. I've applied locally, near Erie, EA, nationally, USA, and internationally. 3. Yes, I am open to other fields. Working through a temp agency, multiple jobs, below my qualifications, and similar. 4. I've had my resume professionally edited. 5. I've applied for unemployment benefits, but have been informed that until our savings are further depleted that we cannot receive anything. I understand that, and will apply in the future if need be. 6. Thank you for the gold and silver. 7. I've tried to respond to everyone, but believe some were missed unintentionally. If I don't reply within a couple of days and you were anticipating that I would, please notify me. 8. 
I will definitely update this post once I land at position. Edit 2. The 8th of February 2019. Hi everyone. I said I'd update this post once I found work. And here I am. Recap of the last month or so. I sent out many dozens of applications, and I'm still sending them out. Following up on most all of the suggestions many of you had shared with me, your encouragement was much needed, and very appreciated. I thank you all. Depression hit hard, again. To top it off, I had a small accident that resulted in a visit to the doctor and having an antibiotic prescribed. The prescription did what it was supposed to do, but had a strong side effect of suicidal ideation. The depression got much, much worse. I hope I never have to go through that again, and wouldn't wish it on anyone. Another friend, a licensed psychotherapist, got in touch and offered some sessions pro bono. I eagerly accepted, and they have been remarkably helpful. I was able to straighten out some of the government assistance issues as well, and now we are receiving some help in the form of groceries. This goes a long way, and we are very grateful for it. Also, a few friends sent money to us, which pushed back our end date by several weeks. At the moment, it stands at the end of September. I interviewed with several places, but did not receive an offer. I was told, very frankly, that while I interviewed very well and would be a good cultural match for the organizations, I needed more experience first. This was for the new career direction I had mentioned, database management. While frustrating, I understand the rationale. Recently I interviewed with another org. After a couple days they got back to me and, while their reply matched much of what I've already heard, they offered a trial period. So, I'm beginning a part-time trial period which will last for several months. If all goes well, they intend to offer me full-time work at the end of the trial. Hooray. I think I hit everything with that update. If not, let me know. My friend is being physically abused but is trying to reconcile and stay with the abuser. A recent medical test showed I have high levels of arsenic in my body, yet it's not in my water nor has it been since I've lived in my current location. The fact that my world feels like it's getting flipped upside down no matter what way I turn, and the fact that the person I was supposed to spend my life with, my kid's father, isn't in love with me anymore. My partner of 3 years and I, officially separated yesterday. All my plans, dreams and long term goals have involved her in some way or another and I feel incredibly lost. I'm terrified of a future without her, but I know I need to get through this. Edit. Thank you all for the kind words it means a lot. I'm doing better today than I was yesterday and I believe that will continue to be the case going forward less than 3. About 2 months ago I got mugged by 3 guys and the police were the most ignorant thing I had ever witnessed. Ever since that I've been kinda scared to leave the house. Edit. Thank you for your advices and positive feedback I actually feel a lot better after hearing all of what you had to say. Reddit is awesome for things like these it's amazing the amount of people that tried to make me feel better. I tried to answer to all but if I didn't well then, sorry about that. Also thanks for that gold and silver and don't worry the robbers can't get these goods out here. My mom getting older and not remembering things but being antagonistic over any attempts for me or my relatives to help. Gestures incoherently at the news. Edit. There are some fantastic discussions coming from a joke comment I dashed off before bed last night. This is why I like Reddit. A few of my friends will be homeless in 6 days and there's nothing I can do to help them. Edit. You Alavist is one of the friends in question so if they reply with info or whatever, take their word over mine. Edit 2. You Alavist's fiance has replied with some more info. Here. There's a flying cockroach in my room that I have no clue where it went. I might die. Edit. Whoa what happened overnight? No worries the bastard escaped through my window. Doing nothing. With no motivation whatsoever. And that I know will duck me over in the future. Just asked a girl out. She said yes. I had not gotten this far before. And I am spooked. How fast the time is passing. I'm only 21. So I shouldn't complain, but everyone around me is graduating from college uni and is getting somewhere with their lives. And here I am not graduated, and not even studying what I want as a career. 
My friend just said she's been starving herself and hearing voices. I don't know how or if I can help her. She's also slightly depressed. Teenage years make weird it. Edit. I woke up this morning to about 35 messages saying, get help, or something along those lines. She said, after I posted this, this was a few months ago and she's told her parents, and is eating more. Thanks for the support and I'll send some of it her way. Edit 2. I talked to her again and she confessed to her dad and he set her up for a therapist appointment on Friday. She is on her way to recovery. I sent her this comment thread. So she is seeing all your advice. She thanks you for your help. Quit drinking two days ago. I'm scared to death that I will go back. Please God help me stay sober. My health. I've developed into a hypochondriac in the last few months. Everything is a symptom. Edit. I appreciate the support and advice. Thank you. To answer some things. I have no regular doctor. I'm working on that. I would love to see a therapist but there are none anywhere near me that I can find that take my insurance and I cannot afford it otherwise. Me scrolling through reddit when my panicked mind is forever trapped in a lazy, procrastinating body. My past comes back to me and it sucks. 1. Global warming. Apparently permafrost started melting. And I don't know what that means but they said that wasn't supposed to happen for another 80 years and once it starts, there's no fixing it. 2. War with Iran. I'm tired of living in time of war. I'm ready for a time of peace where there is no doom over us. 3. Not being able to provide for my family. It's hard as it is and I'm doing my best. But I feel like I'm losing my grip. My job is evaporating. Being moved offshore to India. At 56 I don't relish the thought of starting over. I will have an experimental brain surgery soon. I led an active life. Traveling. Dating. Fitness. Before I got mysteriously ill last year. My health is getting worse despite all the medications and at home infusions I do. My doctor is like house. He has great outcomes and is leader in complex diseases. I am still very financially and physically independent in my day to day despite some physical limitations. My boyfriend and I just had a breakup last weekend. We fought about whether he could be there for the surgery. It's 10 days in NY and he works in Mountain View for a tech company. He said I need to understand that he derives a lot of self worth and validation from his career in that I'm basically asking him to quit his job if he has to show up to the surgery. He used to say that my illness brought us closer together and that's why he fell in love with me. After almost 3 years together, he stopped showing up when he said he would so I had to end it. I relied a lot on him for emotional support. I stopped talking to my family few years ago due to a lifetime of abuse and trauma. I have friends and asked them for support, but I get scared of becoming a burden for anyone. Asking for help is more scary than the surgery itself. I'm scared of a lot of things, asking for help when I need it, my health worsening and becoming bed bound, and settling romantically for someone because I'm damaged. That homeless people in my town are being found with their limbs cut off behind a clothing store. Whenever I lay down, my legs just shake, not uncontrollably, but it's like they're saying no, I want to move, please, let me move. Even just a little bit but my upper body is like no, you're in bed, ducking enjoy it, but my brain caves in and lets my legs twitch and they want more, it used to be annoying, now it's got me worried if there really is something wrong with me, edit, I go to bed, thinking this would be buried, nope, instead I get my first RIP my inbox, holy it I never knew restless leg syndrome even was a thing, a lot of you suggest magnesium, iron, so I'm gonna look into multivitamins. I have ADHD, and my work requires me to be on my feet constantly, only resting when I take my 30 minute break. So those may be contributing factors due to A. My ADHD, aka Charlie Sheen syndrome. I have one gear. Go you take my brain for 5 minutes and you're like sidude I can't handle this. Get rid of this ducker meaning. Yeah. My mind is constantly thinking. B. I work out of Culver's and we bring food to the tables. Move from spot to spot as needed. And basically my legs are always moving. So yeah. Thanks. I'll look into what you all said. 
China is getting more and more power internationally, and their government has shown time and again that it does not give a solitary duck about anyone or anything except its own power profit. Last year I got a really bad infection from these two broken molars, I have. I went to the dentist for the first time in like 18 years, I know, it's bad, and he said that I would need to extract both of them and get a bone graft, so I could get an implant in the place of one. I've been putting it off because I don't have dental insurance and I haven't been able afford to do everything. But one of the teeth has been acting up a bit recently and I'm scared of another infection. I'm also scared of just how much all problems with my other teeth are going to cost me as well in the future. If you're young and reading this please don't neglect your dental health or you'll wind up regretting it like me. Less than gestures broadly more than. The amount of influence social media has on teenagers. It's twofold. 1. The struggle to land on a stable job with hefty student loans on head. 2. The constant worry about parents with their well-being cause we are staying far away from them. Also, I sing on cake, forever a lonely e. I'm playing Resident Evil 7 for the first time and jumping like a scared little kid. My wife sure is enjoying this. Too much. This is literally the most depressing reddit thread I've seen in years. Sympathies to all 11.7k. This will get buried. So I don't feel as scared to write this. But I can feel my depression getting worse by the day. And the suicidal thoughts right alongside it. Life is wonderful and it. Or at least it should be. But it feels like it's getting harder and harder. And it scares me because the worse it gets the more an escape sounds better and easier. Thanks for coming to my talk, edit, damn. I was not expecting this to even be seen, let alone get any responses to it. Thank you for all of the kind words and offers, they really are appreciated. For what it's worth, here's some context. I'm a grown man with a great career and have been through therapy, not currently, but probably should again. I know that it's like a, what the hell, type situation. But I know some of you that have reached out have expressed that you're feeling the same ways. And while I'm clearly not the best at taking my own advice I am more than happy to talk to anyone else that is struggling. The proverbial door is always open. Everyone. Again. Thank you. You guys started today off on a great foot upon waking up. A global water shortage crisis. It has begun to happen in some places across the world. It actually keeps me up at night. As a person living in a developing country, I feel a lot more can be done to improve groundwater management system and increase rainwater harvesting. I'm considering pursuing a full-time career in this because it is something I believe in. But right now I can't muster the courage to leave behind a relatively well-paying steady job for this. A couple of years down the line, I keep telling myself, but what if it's too late? The risk of war with Iran. All of these chicken hawks downplay the cost of their moronic decisions while seated comfortably on their fat asses. We have a horrendous track record in identifying how well wars will go for us. Not to mention winning them in the end. Every time I tell myself I'm not gonna drink tonight, I end up drinking more than I normally would. I can't get a grip on my mental health. And I'm absolutely petrified to do anything about it due to my career and the potential loss of benefits. The amount of people mocking mental illness until it's too late. My mental health. I've been in a cycle going in and out of severe depression and anxiety. I've been hospitalized and I have survived multiple suicide attempts. I haven't had a normal adult life yet and I'm in approaching my late 20s. I'm worried the cycle will never end. Edit. Wow thank you for all the support. The Reddit community can be really amazing. I'm struggling and don't want to give up. But it's difficult to not see an end to all of this. I will be taking steps to try to break this cycle. All I want is a normal and stable life so I think we all do. My duck in gallbladder. About 2 months ago, I started having the worst pain of my life out of ducking nowhere. Sometimes for hours at a time. Doctor said just change your diet but even after doing that, I still have attacks sometimes. I treated myself to a single ice cream sandwich and felt like I had been stabbed in my stomach until I threw up for 20 minutes and felt fine again. I finally have a consultation with a surgeon to talk about getting it removed but anytime I eat anything even vaguely fatty I get super stressed out and I've developed mild food anxiety. 
I get stressed out eating literally anything because it might set off another attack and I literally don't feel mentally strong enough for it. I get an attack once every 2-3 weeks now. Edit. It's definitely gallstones. Don't worry. I've had an ultrasound done and they're there. Still. Thank you everyone for the concern and tips. My mom was an alcoholic and quit I believe 27 years ago. I'm 22 and never knew her like that and it has always been an extraordinary accomplishment. She was so bad that she had a handle of vodka on her bed stand for years and couldn't get out of bed until she drank said vodka. Well, I grew older and she stayed sober to my knowledge. She then started doing a lot of pills. Years passed and more pills every day. Multiple random ones. Then benzos. Then lots of opiates like tramadol etc. I left college for a year about a year ago and lived with her and truly saw the impact. Side note. My mom has always been cool with weed. She never smoked with me until I was like 18 but she didn't care if I did and I knew she also did. When I moved in with her that one year. It made me hate weed. She smoked the second she woke up until the second she went to bed. She took all these crazy pills in between. One day I typed all her pills into a medical interaction website and found all these critical deadly interactions these medications had. Many of these interactions explain the extreme paranoia and unstableness she's been having for a long time now. I left my mom's house a year ago because it was time. And I also began stealing some of her more addictive medications. She had to hide them and I knew that if I was there I would find a way to find them. That aside. I've been gone for a year and a half now, and mom has gotten progressively worse. Sorry this is long. What scares me the most is is that my mom is known as someone who beat addiction. She's a social worker at the local elementary school, and also teaches college courses on drugs and addictions. She had helped so many people for years that it's impossible to go into public with her without people coming up and hugging her. Kids coming up to her and screaming how much they love her. ETC. She's like a kid inside and has helped countless people families. Which makes it really hard to acknowledge her own addictions. Especially to her. I've tried. She cries multiple times a day and it's impossible to speak to her about anything without her going hysterical. She's lost all her friends. She lost her longtime boyfriend and is unable to communicate to anyone else on a personable level. She has become completely handicapped in every regard that used to make her so beautiful. The last time she was like this was when she was an alcoholic. And that's what she bases her work on. I never knew her like that and it's terrifying feeling like she's very similar to that. Today. She's functioning in society yes. But she's miserable. I haven't had a conversation with her in nearly. Two years without her bawling. She's lost everyone besides me due to unrelated circumstances. And it's horrifying seeing her spiral into exactly the same devil she told me about for my entire life. I've tried to acknowledge it. But this time is different and she doesn't understand and gets very upset. I love her more than anything and don't want to make her more upset. But she started her addictions with one vice. And now she has multiple more socially accepted devils. I'm 22 and she has always been my number one. And god I miss her so so much. But I can't do anything about it. I'm an atheist but I beg god to save her every day. She told me a couple months ago that she wants to die. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? I live a couple states away but I still only ever worry about her. Sorry this is so long. It's such a weird situation to me and I seem to be the only one left to see it.